Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. I'm Buffy Harakitis of JSA, and joining me today is Alex Goodall. He is the founder and CEO of Clean Energy Capital. Alex, such a pleasure. Welcome to JSA TV. Yeah, nice to meet you, Buffy. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. And today we're going to explore a little bit more about clean energy uh, in our discussion today. So you do have a panel coming up uh, today, yeah. later this afternoon, addressing power constraints, specifically in the data center industry. Can you give us a little preview? Yeah, of course. So um, we're really looking to discuss what solutions there are behind the meter. So not just relying on grid solutions but also what are the long-term solutions to provide power and specifically, ideally, sustainable power to these massive consumers, which are data centers, right? Mm -hmm. um, we as a company are technology agnostic, so we can provide wind, solar, hydro, whatever particularly works for that organization or that site location of that data center. And what we're looking to do is provide the quickest solution that can provide the biggest amount of power in a green sustainable way so we're focused predominantly on solar at the moment okay. providing those types of solutions to those data centers that can take them about 30 percent off grid mm -hmm. and provide them with resilience whilst being cheaper than grid energy in terms of price point and also come in and give them a energy security play so they're not just beholden to the grid demand all right yeah we're excited to uh, see you on that panel later this afternoon. Thank you. And last month, uh, Clean Energy Capital released a progress report. Can yes. you give us a little bit more about that progress report and what what was uh, came out of that? Yeah, absolutely. So um, we founded the business, uh, came up with the concept about two years ago. Um, since then, we wanted to give a, a bit of a market update report because we've sort of gone from strength to strength, really, in terms of uh, the business growth and scale. So we've got a 3.3 gigawatt pipeline that's been created over the last 18 months, two years. We've grown from five to 22 people. Um, uh, we've got uh, a gigawatt of projects uh, through the development cycle now uh, with 350 megawatts of projects uh, under exclusive contract. So we've been able to achieve an incredible amount. That's just in the UK. And as part of this phase, we're obviously here at the Texas Data Center Conference in Austin. So part of that growth is to now look to expand into, into uh, international markets, uh, Europe and US, mainly OEDC countries, right. to be able to provide additional resilient solutions whilst also being green uh, to big power users like these data centers. Like the data centers, Absolutely. right? Yeah, Absolutely, yeah, for sure. So it sounds like that progress report really highlighted some of your team's key success uh, moments. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, we're just in the process of doing our Series A. Okay. So we're sort of raising funds in excess of 150 million to look at building out our first sort of 10 projects or so um, to then look at, like I said, to also then expand the business into the other territories around the world. Well, as sustainability becomes, you know, more and more of a key topic and concern in the data center industry, yeah. uh, why don't you give us, you know, one trend? Yeah, I think these, especially the um, the tenants uh, of these big colos and on the cloud side of things, they've got their um, scope one, two and three emissions right. and net zero targets. So the previous sort of let's just rely on grid solutions where you get sort of gray power is not a long-term play. And in terms of resilience, gas turbines, people have leaned on that a lot. But actually, as a long-term solution, especially with the Ukraine crisis driving up um, your uh, wholesale gas prices, yeah. it had a massive impact on data centers because their biggest overhead is power. Right. So if you can give them a long-term solution behind the meter, so not just from the grid, but an alternative solution, it provides them with a proportion of their power, not all of it, but it gives them a visibility to providing a long-term proportion of their power to be supplied by a green technology like wind and solar right. 
at a good price point that gives them resilience as well. So it's a bit of a win-win. We provide a, a guaranteed discount to their delivered price. So there's no downside for whether it's a colo site, a cloud site, or a direct hosted site with your organizations, uh, your big blue chips like your Amazons, Microsofts, whomever it may be. Well, thank you so much for, for that tip and that trend there. And thanks for everything that Clean Energy Capital is doing uh, to help provide data centers and digital infrastructure providers with cleaner energy solutions. So thank you so much, Alex. Uh, is thank there anything you. else that you want to add? No, that's great. Um, obviously, you can see me later on today uh, up on the, up on the uh, panel with other speakers as well. So uh, thanks very much for having me. Yeah, thanks again for joining us. Thanks, Buffy. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in. Uh, stay curious, stay connected, and happy networking.